founder of the Bank of Thailand, publishers, editors from Asia News Network, CEOs from all around Asia coming to Bangkok is easier than entering into many other countries where visas are required. Here, yeah, not only visas are not required, but you can come in and out any time you want. Closer integration of global economy through stronger trade and financial linkages. Increasingly large and mobile capital flows due to lower cost on cross-border investment. Rapid spread of information made possible by advancement in technology. And more pronounced reactions. Asian currency crisis in 1997. This shows the global car sales in past 20 years. And as you can see, automotive industry has steadily growing, focusing by region, North America, Europe, and the president of the Bank of Bank to give us the other side. But before then, we will see tremendous change as Asia and the world across the world. And now going through a period of transition. So, by 2020, and also the, the likely is the, the, the time and almost the same culture and nature. How we have to be pushed to the middle class people more in Asia. So then we are creating a market ourselves. The largest ASEAN country has a population of 240 million people. The smallest ASEAN country. China, China is the biggest economy in Asia. It's growing. But whether or not it's sustainable, that is a very, very um, skeptical question. So why? What is the problem for China and Vietnam in terms of growth? We all saw all of our side help. Um, the education system, um, the utilities are coming on now, infrastructure. And this is our main uh, problem at the moment, is still infrastructure in the country for uh, to have to actually get companies to come and invest them. They say that when elephants fight, the grass suffers. <laughs> but some other people say that 